what's up guys how's it going Mike the Tech here and in this video we've got an exciting new virtual monitor solution that's right not necessarily a competitor to our virtual monitor that we created however it is a really cool way to split your existing monitor screen into separate individual monitors so if you have a massive like 4k screen you can cut it in four use it as four individual monitors with uh, their own task bars windows screen savers all that good stuff really cool technology and i'm excited to check it out now before we get started if you're watching this video chances are you're not subscribed because 99 percent of you are not subscribed and that's a pretty bad number so if you like this one be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below so on to the video itself we're going to go ahead and head over to displayfusion.com unfortunately this is a paid app there is a free trial and a free version now not only is this going to uh give you the functionality that i explained monitor splitting it's also going to give you a lot of features that may be useful for the virtual display as well as uh, sunshine and moonlight uh, and Apollo actually because what this can do is it can actually uh, handle window management and window, window position profiles so you can store where things are supposed to open as well as when you switch to uh, different sets of monitors you can restore um, your profiles back to the way you had them uh, which makes it really really uh, versatile and useful for streaming situations where you're changing monitors quickly that being said we're going to demonstrate monitor splitting in this one and hopefully our screen recording software doesn't break doing this but we're going to try it out so i'm going to go to download and we're going to download the installer let's go ahead and download the unverified file and we're just going to continue through the setup so we're going to click on continue accept next 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 we're going to use the trial version first time only reverse to the free version after the trial and we're going to launch at startup and add to windows right click context menu let's go ahead and hit next and we'll install this just for me and hit next now we'll install all right so let's launch display fusion we see we have a little icon down here but it should launch after the installer finishes so it lets us know that windows multi-monitor taskbar is currently enabled and that you'd ra you should rather use uh, Display Fusion's taskbar. So let's disable Windows taskbar and our taskbar reset, and we're good to go. And uh, now we can go ahead and hit next, and it will go through all the different features that Display Fusion has. So uh, definitely take the time to go through these on your install and see if there's any features that particularly interest you. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go to done and then open up display fusion to configure it and then we're going to open up monitor configuration you can also get to that by uh, clicking on the display fusion tray icon um, but here are our windows so let's go ahead and click on our main window this is the one that you're looking at right now and we're going to go ahead and go to splits and padding and right here we're going to choose a horizontal split and a vertical split We'll click here and add another vertical split and now we have four uh, 1080p by 720 monitors because i have a 1440p display if i go ahead and hit ok and apply you can see that now we have essentially four windows menus we have one on each side all right so now that that's set we have four different windows here if i open for example spotify we have this uh little window here that allows us to move it to the next monitor and we can just simply click it to move to different monitors and if we double click on the app it will actually open as if it were full screen so let's open spotify as well you'll see that it opens across all the monitors and then if we bring it over here and open it it opens up on the top right corner similar to how windows handles window snapping uh, except this allows you to actually have a full Windows Explorer experience um, on each individual portion of the screen, which is pretty cool. Now you can change settings to have an individual wallpaper on each uh, screen. Um, you can have a individual screensaver on each screen, or you can choose a wallpaper across all four, so it looks like more of a normal monitor. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.
told you the guru with a modern day voodoo. The dude with the short fuse for ignorant minds. You can learn a thing or two about a new device. Unbox and kudos, we rock that pseudo. Administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the 